I ordered a large pickle fork set, the biggest one's an inch and 11 sixteenths. So hopefully that will be big enough to get that apart. torch. Okay, this side's loose now. I took the torch to heat it up nice and cherry red. And then, uh, you got some pliers over there or no? Nope. Okay. Can you knock that chisel out without touching it? <laughs> Two sides are out, middle to go, and then some hydraulic lines. We're gonna do a service on this tractor here, so we're gonna replace the air filter, fuel filters, oil change, oil filter, Leroy, you can't go bye-bye with us. I know. He says, yeah, I can. It's back here. We're going to go to the tractor store. No St. Bernard's allowed. You're not a service dog. <laughs> See you later, dude. Hey, Jamie. All right, so we're doing the major service on the Kubota tractor here. We're replacing the fuel strainer. You can see that the old one was definitely kind of uh, overdue for that. And yeah, a little bit of sediment in the water separator part. So anyways, we're doing that. We're changing fuel filters, oil filters, hydraulic filters, hydraulic fluid, uh, coolants, engine oil, engine oil filter, all the fun stuff. So lots of service for the tractor today. Changing the coolant as well, and just filling it with new engine oil right now. Change the filter. Got a new oil filter, strainer, and fuel filter on there. And in a little bit, we'll have the new hydraulic filters on there as well. And we're draining the coolant right now. The engine oil is drained, ready to go. Change the air filter already. It's pretty dirty. Remove that screen in front of the radiator. Clean that as well. You can see how dirty this filter was. Got a bat house mounted. It's about 14 feet off the ground. And it'll get sunlight here 
several hours of the day. South facing. Well, we got the Airstream moved out of here. Everything is so muddy around here right now. After all that snow melted and the ground froze, the ground was still frozen when the snow melted and it wouldn't soak into the, you know, there's no way for the water to soak in. So we got the Airstream moved out of here last night before we got another five to seven inches of rain coming here this weekend. So we're just trying to get things rolling and out of here where we don't have the, the mud, but the driveway is definitely taking a beating on the upper end. The, the, the hill is fine. That sheds the water perfectly. We haven't had any issues there, but the low lying areas, it's a little bit soft. Hopefully next week we can get to this and get Tyler and install this on his bus. So he'll have the same Mr. Cool. Uh, it's a heat pump, so it's you know air conditioner and heater all in one. We just used ours for that super cold snap that we had. It worked great. Um, obviously during the summertime, it did wonderful. It cools our whole bus, which is the one unit, and it's super energy efficient. So you'll learn more about it again as he installs it. It looks, it's pretty awesome. The interval said to drain and the fluid and change filters. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't get covered in that. <laughs> Me too. The next one ready? Yep. At least the bucket gets lighter as you go. Well, I had a fun week working on the vehicles with Tyler. Uh, we got the tractor all serviced and finished up. It was Tyler's birthday this week, so happy birthday to Tyler. Uh, that grease gun of his that we used was awesome. I did a review on that. I posted it yesterday. Uh, but we got the tractor all serviced up. We're going to get to work on the Cena Cruiser again today to try and get that power steering arm finished all the way off and then uh, get on Lance's bus. So lots going on.